I'm Samantha Yap. I'm the founder and CEO of Yap Global. So how have you found ECC so far? ECC is one of my favorite conferences, um, and I love it. It's just a it's just a great vibe, and we've been doing it for three years. We've been the PR partners, um, so I think I think it's been quite refreshing. We're in the bear market right now, but people are just still talking about what they're building, the state of their protocols, um, you know, what they're planning for during the the bear market build. So it's just been really encouraging and, and, and nice to just unite the community um, during this market. So obviously in your position you get to speak to a lot of companies in the space. What do you feel is the biggest trend right now? Right, so there's a few things. So off the back of the you know collapse of the sorry off the back of the domino uh, effect of C5 kind of falling to pieces. Um, I think there's this trend of understand, like educating people about the difference between CFI and DeFi. Um, and so that's something that is top of mind, especially when we're working with journalists. We've got, uh, I think, 60 journalists here in ECC. So it's helping uh, explain and educating the, the press about the differences. The other trends that we're seeing right now is multi-chain future, everyone keeps talking about the multi-chain. Um, what's also been really interesting is that there's a, been a bunch of um, side events uh, of ECC. Um, you know, we, we've seen Polygon run an event, we've seen um, Polkadot, Cosmos, there's also like a, a, a refi day. So you're starting to also see these other ecosystems for, uh, forming. So yeah, multi-chain is the way it's going. Um, also really interesting to see where Cosmos is going as well with their interchain narrative. So that's what we're seeing, I think, the, the, the different ecosystems and, ch and, and chains. It's kind of crazy. It seems like it's more of a Paris blockchain week than Paris blockchain week, isn't it? Like, there's just been so many different, like, everywhere you look, there's, there's people in crypto everywhere. Yeah, yeah, there definitely is, um, you know, because ECC uh, can only fit 2,000 attendees here, uh, but, you know, there's been more people who have flown into town and, you know, who are networking, um, there's also hackathons being held across town. So yeah, everywhere you go, you see someone in crypto. And you know, there's also been a bunch of parties. I think each night there's at least a minimum of three parties to go to. <laughs> um, have, you, have you been able to catch any of the, the talks this week? And which show, what's been some of the, sort of the highlights and standouts for you? Yeah, uh, well, I, I like to, to, to catch talks from my friends. So uh, it was nice to see the State of ENS talk by Makoto Nui, um, just to see that uh, you know ENS is still building. And, and actually, there's an adoption. Um, I mean, we're starting to see celebrities adopt you know, uh, and, and have ENS domains, like Paris Hilton and Jimmy Fallon has one. So um, yeah, and, and then that, that actually helps with mainstream, you know, adoption and awareness about the space. So it's been cool to see that. Um, other talks, well, we just caught Vitalik's talk. Uh, it was quite encouraging to see um, what they're, they're kind of looking to well, what they're aware of ahead of the merge and also just to I guess like bulletproof the Ethereum even more in the future so it shows that the Ethereum Foundation and that the people working on Ethereum are are thinking critically about where the chain stands right now. So um, what's next for you guys? Yeah, so uh, Yak yeah, Global, we love being PR partners of uh, conferences like this. We are headed, uh, a, a few of us are headed to South Korea for Biddle Asia, run by Crypto Seoul. Erica Kang uh, runs that. And uh, we're also doing ETH Seoul. So that's in South Korea. That's one of the first conferences in Asia since the pandemic. So it's reuniting the Asia community. Um, and then a few of us are also going to Cosmoverse in Colombia, Medellin. And I believe that's when DevCon Bogota, uh, DevCon in Bogota is happening. Um, so yeah, just um, th those are the conferences. But at Yap Global, we're we're continuing to hire. Actually, in this bear market, we business is 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 you know it's it's simmered down, but it's not stopping, which is. Uh, very exciting. So even though we're in the bear market, work doesn't stop. Fantastic. So not financial advice, but what 
what, what are you looking at in terms of positive signs in the market? Positives, so not financial, but positive signs. Um, well, I mean, Ethereum, I mean, okay, we're speaking at a time when Ethereum had a rally this week, but I don't really comment on the price. Uh, but what's been, what I see is the, the projects and the protocols still around at these conferences, still talking shop about what they're, they're going to do so, and, and what they're building. So I'm bullish on that. Uh, token price can follow whenever the market's ready. Um, but yeah, that's my advice. I think it's quite interesting. Like, I actually, now you said it, I don't think I've ever been to an event like this, and definitely not this time, where there's actually been a single mention of a price of any crypto. You don't get people chatting, looking at the phones, showing graphs, it's just not a thing, is it? That is right. There's no, so there's no one really talking about the price. Um, yeah, no one's really checking the charts um, and, and also even in talks, no one's really referring to the price chart. It, it, it's, it's the least interesting thing actually because at the end of the day, all of these protocols and projects, they're building applications. So what matters actually is a chart of adoption and users adopting it. Um, yes, you know, occasionally they talk about the TVL and they'll look at the chart of the total value locked in a protocol. But yeah, no one's really talking at all about the price of Ethereum. And I think it's the same in bull market as well. Like it's just that devs don't care about the price of the coin really, do they? In the long term, yeah, of course. Yeah. But they, they care about the growth of the project and building through and creating something new. Yeah, no, I mean, a lot of these talks here, so ETH, there, there are actually no panels at ECC. Um, they purposely kept it to workshops only. So actually, most of the talks here are, are, are very in-depth technical talks that are more for de developers, really. Um, so, yeah, there's no, I, I know the organizers, you know, uh, Bettina and Jerome uh, of ECC, they, they put a lot of thought into building the program, and they... Um, yeah, they, they, they don't really, but I guess panels, they're more trend discussions, but here it's like you really get to the heart of a project, what they're doing, what's their roadmap, you know, down to the very, like, I'm not a technical person, but you know, like code. Um, and yeah, I, but, but when it gets to that point, I have to admit, I don't really understand it in that much detail, but I, I'm, a, I'm a journalist and a PR person, so mm -hmm. yeah. Fantastic. So I think we're pretty much at the end of the day. I think the, the closing ceremony is coming up next. Um, is there a, a relief that it's over or are you sad? Well, I'm going to miss it again. I'm going to miss it, you know. I uh, always look forward to the next ECC. But uh, yeah, it's been, it's been a big week. So really happy to just sit down and reflect um, on the week that's happened. Brilliant. Thank you very much for doing this. Awesome. Thank you, Liam.